Take bread away from me if you wish. <laughs> take air away, but do not take from me your laughter. Do not take away the rose, the lance flower that you pluck, the water that suddenly bursts forth in joy, the sudden wave of silver born in you. My struggle is harsh and I come back with eyes tired at times from having seen the unchanging earth. But when your laughter enters, it rises to the sky, sinking me, and it opens for me all the doors of life. Go back with us to the fall of 2017. Corey had sworn off dating. She was pouring her focus into her friends, into her work, and into her one-woman campaign to proactively reclaim the word spinster. In January of 2017, her friend Carolyn invited Corey to volunteer with her for an organization called Saturday Hoops, where Adam is also a leader. She saw Adam every week blowing his whistle and getting sweaty. But they never talked to each other until the fall of 2017, when in one of those small world Cincinnati moments, they realized that Corey had been friends with Adam's sister Erica for years. When Adam and Corey finally got to know one another, they learned that they had actually been in close proximity for more than just the Saturday Hoops years. They had worked half a block away from each other in downtown Cincinnati since starting their jobs on the exact same day in 2006. It really wasn't basketball that brought these two together. It was the inimitable harmony of two hearts that were both tuned to put others before themselves. It was when Adam and Corey separately and simultaneously acted on that desire in their heart to serve others that they ended up receiving a gift beyond anything they could have imagined. When we fell in love, I was shocked at how tangible it was. All this time later, I'm no less amazed. I'm bursting with gratitude for the solidity of your love. Even on days when I've questioned why you love me, I've never questioned that you love me. It's so present, so all-encompassing and enveloping that I realized I never even knew I wanted to feel that safety before I knew your love. At 37 years old, I already feel like I've had a full lifetime of wondrous things of travels, opportunities, achievements, and beauty and fun. But nothing from those 37 years compares with the excitement I feel standing here in Cincinnati, about to become your wife. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> A wife of noble character who can find. She is worth more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings in him good, not harm, all the days of her life. <laughs> I've always worked so hard to live a happy, positive life and bring joy to others. And I feel like finding you is the universe giving back to me what I've been trying so hard to put into it. I still wake up every day and think to myself, oh my gosh, you get to love and be loved by Corey Leffler today? <laughs> what a gift. <laughs> you are everything that everyone who cares about me has always wanted from me. You appreciate every little thing and every big thing that matters in my heart. Your happiness is my happiness. Your heart is my heart and my heart is yours. All I've ever wanted to do is to live full days, to laugh, to cry, and to think every day. I will live my fullest days for the rest of my life because I will live them with you. When I open my eyes and close them, when my steps go down, when my steps return, deny me bread, air, light, spring, but never your laughter, for I would die. <laughs>
it's my joyful responsibility to officially acknowledge your union as husband and wife. You may now seal your marriage with a kiss. It's my privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Adam Turrer and Corey Leffler. Come what may, I can't wait to keep building this absolute mansion of love with you and letting that love spill over to everyone we meet. You do this. <laughs> <laughs>